All right, everybody, this will be a warning to all politicians I'm running for president 2024, part what, 161, 162, somewhere up in there. Anyhow, it's been a real rough re week, more than a week. Uh, today's the third, Wednesday the third, and uh, I got home... Uh, not just this past Monday, but the Monday before, and spent four days uh, knocked off my feet with uh, what I thought was COVID, um, extremely high fever, lost my uh, smell and taste for a little bit, uh, diarrhea, body aches, um, whole thing, except uh, didn't really have any shortness of breath. Or any coughing, any sneezing, anything. So, went to uh, Fast Med. They did the uh, rapid test. They said that was borderline. He thought uh, it was showing that I had uh, traces of the COVID. They so then they did the PCR test, and that came back negative. So, um, by then I had a good day where I felt. Like I was back to normal and got up and cleaned my apartment, did all that kind of stuff. And then uh, the next day, well, I only had a mild fever that next day. I had absolutely no energy and was off my feet again. And then the following day. And um, so I uh, returned and got another couple of tests uh, this evening. And... Um, Going to see what those say. Uh, they're doing another COVID test and then also a test for flu. So, I um, guess I'll wait and see what that is. Plan on taking off Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully, I uh, feel like I have all my energy and everything back by then. And uh, can get out there and make some money. Um... The rest of this month is going to be really rough. I don't need to get out there and get sick again and then be off my feet for another week or two. Um, so this will just about have drained my emergency fund for my truck payment and stuff like that. So the bills are paid, but uh, if I don't get back out there and get after it, then... Uh, I'm going to have trouble paying March's bills, so um, probably should have held off on sending the IRS a check, um, but I'm trying to catch catch that crap up, and um, so might have to uh, do a uh, cash advance or something because my son is not working right now. And my ex is uh, been sick, so she's been out for the past couple days. So they're struggling there, and um, you know, I know it's, I know it's hard. There there isn't many jobs available. Not many people are hiring, especially out where he lives, and. Um, but uh just got into it with them tonight about uh quit relying on that little bit that the unemployment gives them and get a job and you know he's going to be uh be 20 in June and I know kids today they think that it's nothing to stay at home and live at home and then while they're going to school and stuff uh but like he's all his stuff he's doing right now is online. There's no reason if he can find a job that he shouldn't take it. And um, my big concern, like I told him tonight, is you know, what if I croak? And what if your mother croaks? What are you gonna do then? Can you take care of yourself? Can you get a job and and keep a roof over your head and food in your stomach? Are you gonna be able to take care of yourself, or are you gonna end up on a friggin' street corner homeless? And he doesn't seem to see my uh, point on that.
that I'm, I'm talking hypotheticals and, you know, he's, he's more worried about, uh, even if he doesn't work for the next three years, as long as he gets his degree, it's going to pay off and all this. And it's like, you know what? You're the one living in hypotheticals. So, you know, I, I just don't think he understands as a father how much I worry about whether he's going to be able to take care of himself or he's going to be at the mercy of other people around him. I've been there. I've been through that. And that is no place to be is at the mercy of other people. Um, especially when they they turn out not to be as uh, as big of friends or you know uh, family that really cares about you or anything like that you know it's just it's a it's a crappy place to be dependent on either the government or other people so uh, try and drive that home to him that, you know, especially he wants to go back to get the open school back up and he goes back to classes and stuff like that. Come on, come on August. He's not going to be able to work. Then he needs to get some money in the bank now and, um, see himself through and be able to help his, his mother out since, uh, it looks like he has no plans of, of leaving there. So, But anyhow, it looks like I'll, I'll end up doing a cash advance or something so I can give her some money. And uh, not be worried about uh, him or, or both of them ending up out in the street. Anyway, wish you all the best out there. I'll give you an update, see what the uh, tests say. When I get them back, it uh, should be a day or so. And... Um, I'm hopefully done with this stuff. At least I got my appetite back. I'm going to have some lovely Filiberto's enchiladas. If you've never had Filiberto's, I suggest you try them out. They're really good. And uh, I guess I'll turn on the uh, idiot box there. And um, have some dinner and, and uh, see what kind of crap is on the TV. I right, wish you all the best out there. God bless.